Okay, so I dropped the oil pan and you could see it is scary looking. I mean, what is that? And I could see blue coolant for sure. It's just pooling up in there. Um, and this filter element was not attached uh, to the oil pickup line. So all this stuff probably got into the engine. And uh, you could see the gasket is brand new, but uh, very scary looking. So I think whoever torqued down the heads did not do a good job because um, there's coolant everywhere. And I think basically the cam boxes are gonna have to be removed and I have to retorque the head, the head bolts, I guess, or, or nuts, whatever you want to call them, that are inside the cam box because uh, the oil leaking on the outside is probably also leaking on the inside. So uh, I'm just going to carry on because uh, I, I need to get this car out of the garage because I want to drive my other car at least. And, um, and uh, we're going to have to basically clean this up and get it back in the car and uh, take it from there okay so i ordered a new um oil pan gasket and it came with a copper o-ring for or crush washer for um the drain plug and also this rubber o-ring for the oil pickup so i'm going to uh, remove the oil pickup tube and insert that new o-ring might as well since it came with it uh to do that you have to remove this oil baffle and i can't believe this is plastic uh i thought i always thought these were like sheet metal but it's just a plastic uh extrusion probably uh in any case so i don't know if i could get in there uh to give you a good view but i will try so that's the oil pickup line Right there, I'm gonna have to remove, there's two cap screws holding it up and there should be a no ring trapped in there. So gonna get that removed, replace the O-ring and get this oil pan back on. Okay, so oil pickup lines removed. That's the old O-ring. You can see it's pretty flat. Here's the new fat juicy one to replace it with. Now, um, this thing was, fallen inside the oil pan so uh looks like it's i mean this thing is under suction so i'm hoping that it'll stay on but there's really no guarantees it's made out of plastic i can't believe how many items are made out of plastic uh in this environment where it's hot oil and corrosive elements and all this stuff but whatever anyway this is going back in and then hopefully we could get the oil pan back on. So I found some uh, stainless steel wire and I made this little contraption here to keep this uh, filter from falling out. Uh, there was no way this was staying on for more than 10 seconds because um, with the heat, these uh, little barbs have bowed out and uh, they would have just fallen right out. So hopefully this little wire contraption, stainless steel wire, uh, will keep everything where it's supposed to be.
All right, guys, so I uh, took the car for a test drive, put the bumpers back on and all that stuff to make sure that the oil cooler, everything was uh, snugged up nice, no oil leaks, everything was awesome. And I came back with the car two weeks later. Why? Well, during the test drive, uh, I put my foot down on the clutch and it stayed down there, didn't come back up. So I came to realize that I had uh, you can see right there, a uh, leaking clutch slave cylinder. And that's the new one in there. You can kind of see it just down there. Uh, I also replaced the master since while you're at it, you might as well. A brand new clutch and master and a new steel braided line to connect the two was about 250 bucks. So not that bad considering the price of the parts usually for this car. So, um, I figured it might as well replace both things. If I wanted to just do the uh, slave cylinder, it might have been around 100 bucks, 120, something like that. But uh, the other thing I came to realize is that that blue puddle that was on the floor, even after I, I sorted all of the coolant lines and I sorted the coolant coming up through the head studs there, uh, it turns out that this car has Ate um blue brake fluid so uh which is also the clutch fluid so uh when this was dripping on the floor i thought it was the blue coolant but it turns out it was brake fluid so uh let me just show you so it's kind of hard to see but it's uh ate blue brake fluid which by the way is no longer legal in the u.s now all brake fluid by law has to be either clear or a honey color. Uh, you can no longer have dyed fluid. God only knows why uh, they made that rule since coolant could come in orange, pink. I've seen it uh, blue, green, whatever color. So, uh, you know, that's just regulations for you.
in any case uh next up i'm gonna remove the bumper and it replace this guy with something more compact and hopefully that will not sit in front of the intercoolers or the radiator so uh hope to see you guys next time sayonara